Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about something that is just ugly in your aquarium. And it's something that um, I'm on the lookout for because I'm going to be setting up some new tanks. And it's not uncommon for new tanks to develop this nasty mud dirt looking stuff called uh, brown algae. Not really an algae, it's actually a diatome, uh, which is but it looks like algae, so it's, it gets called brown algae. Let's talk about uh, why it shows up, why it shows up in new tanks, and it can even show up in old tanks, and let's talk about what to do about it to get rid of it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to the channel and like to always be learning about how to take better care of your fish, always be learning is the uh, theme or the motto of this channel, uh, why not hit that bell and that sub button and that way you'll always get informed when new content gets uploaded. And you'll know when I go live, like when I do that cichlids and coffee live stream on the weekends. Okay? All right, let's get into today's topic. The best way to handle uh, brown algae or these diatoms that can show up in your tank really is to just starve them. And uh, you have to understand what they, what, what they live off of. They live off of um, nitrates, just like green algae. They live off of uh, silicates, like, like silica, silica that can come sometimes in play sand, blasting sand, things that people use as a substrate, right? These kind of sands have silica in them, and this is an important nutrient for these diatoms. And also, uh, it, it, it lives on phosphates. And uh, phosphates, like nitrates, are a product of, of things, you know, wasting, wasting away or rotting in the tank. Uh, this could be if you're overfeeding, or perhaps there's uh, broken up or, or dead plants, or perhaps a fish that's died and is uh, tucked somewhere in the tank. But at any rate, these things, as they waste and break down, are going to produce uh, phosphate. And so the best thing you can do is to starve this brown algae by really staying on top of your, of your aquarium maintenance. So if you're experiencing brown algae, the, fir the first thing I would recommend is take a natural approach. And uh, by that, what I mean is you know, vacuum and, and do your water changes more frequently than you would normally. And uh, especially if you have a new tank that's just getting set up and, and the, these diatoms has, have, have sort of captured the opportunity to, get, to come into your tank and start to coat everything in a brown slime that is just ugly. Now, you can also add snails. If you have a tank with fish that are not going to eat those snails, there are certain snails you can put into a tank that will eat brown algae. There are even certain kinds of scavenger or, um, you know, fish that you can put in there that will eat brown algae. Uh, I'll, I'll include a link uh, below the video to an article that gets into these points in detail. Now, interestingly enough, uh, brown, al the brown algae or these diatoms don't like too much light. They're, they actually thrive in low light. So if you're cutting back light hoping that you're going to get rid of this problem, you're actually helping it because it likes low light. So um, increase the amount of light to your tank. Now what will happen is you'll get more green algae because that's more of an optimum green algae situation. Green algae is easier to control. There are more fish that would go after green algae and it's certainly more aesthetic or pleasing to the eye than that brown, you know, gunk looking brown, you know, brown algae or diatoms. So <clears throat> there are products you can buy. You can buy uh, things like the CKM Fosgard, uh, things of that nature that can help to reduce the phosphates in your tank. Uh, there, are, there are certain chemical approaches you can take. Personally, I would, I would suggest that you uh, hit it pretty hard with a natural approach of um, you know, in large, like, like increasing the frequency or the volume or both of your water changes and doing you know, some good vacuuming. If you have gravel, do some deep vacuuming. Uh, if you have sand, you know, just skim over the top the way you normally would. Just make sure no waste is sitting around because as it decomposes, it is releasing these phosphates. 
and uh, feeding those diatoms. So starve those diatoms, uh, give your tank a bit more light so that the green algae can, can, can take over and uh, uh, which is easier to take care of and you, know, you can have some uh, plecos in there that'll go ahead and take care of that for you. And if it gets really bad, you may have to actually pull decor out and uh, perhaps dip it in a, in a diluted bleach solution um, you know, and give it a good scrub after you've rinsed all the bleach off of it and then perhaps soak it in, in, uh, in some water that's been treated with some water conditioner before putting it back in the tank. Again, you can get more detailed information in the link uh, to the article that I will include below, below this video. So if you have a, uh, these diatoms, if you have brown algae, especially if you have a new tank, don't panic. It's, it's, it's not that uncommon, especially if you're using blasting sand or play sand as a substrate. Very uh, silica rich and that is something that uh, that these diatoms love to feast on. So it's, 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 it's a normal occurrence. You can do something about it just by, uh, by really staying on top of that maintenance and starving them out. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, be sure to uh, comment below on your experience with this kind of, of a uh, of aquarium pest and uh, any tips that you might have that have worked for you I certainly would like to hear about them right we're all learning from each other on this channel and uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at the cichlids and coffee live stream all right thank you for tuning in my friend that's it for me bye bye <music>